I am back and ready to produce more content for you guys. I went on another hiatus. God bless CRNA school. That is the reason, of course. But now that I'm in my last year, literally 10 months left, I plan on really committing to this and buckling down and giving you guys the content you deserve. So I've been getting quite a few direct messages constantly asking me what do I need to apply to CRNA school. So here are your top 11 requirements that most schools will ask of you when applying. Requirement number one, which may seem self-explanatory, but you do need to go to a nursing school and get your bachelor's degree in nursing. Requirement number two, piggybacks off of requirement number one, shocker, you do need to pass the NCLEX. So once you actually get a bachelor's degree in nursing, sit for your boards, pass the NCLEX, and become a registered nurse. Now requirement number three also piggybacks off requirement number one. So you're going to want to have a cumulative GPA of at least 3.0 in nursing school and 3.4 up if you do want to be competitive. So requirement number four is getting a job, but not just any RN job. You want to get a job in an intensive care unit for at least two years. And you want to make sure the job is either in a medical, neuro, surgical, cardiac, pediatric, intensive care unit. And I hate to break it to those emergency room nurses, most schools do not consider this intensive care. So please just stick to an ICU and I promise you it'll be so much more worth your time. Getting the job in the ICU is still not enough. You also need to take some action. So you want to make sure that you become a charge nurse. You want to participate in quality improvement projects on the unit and always, always, always take the hardest patients. You want to be the nurse that everyone goes to for help when they need it. Also, you want to be familiar with a bunch of medical devices, such as continuous renal replacement therapy, intra-aortic balloon pumps, impellas, and last but not least, ECMO. Requirement number five can be either a hit or miss, depending on the school, and that is take your GRE. Now, you also want to get a score of either 300 or better. And right now, at least 50% of schools accept it. So when you're looking for schools, make sure you know whether or not they want the GRE. Requirement number six is something that every school will ask for, so be sure to have them. And that is your BLS, ACLS, and PALS. So get them as soon as you can and make sure they don't expire. Requirement number seven is prerequisite classes. So almost every school is going to ask you to have a statistics and chemistry course taken within the last five or so years. It depends on the school, they may change that. So be sure to have those courses done and completed. Requirement number eight, shadow a CRNA for at least eight to 40 hours and document that experience. Now, not every school is going to ask you for that, but at least 40% of schools will. So make sure that you reach out to your hospital's anesthesia department and schedule times and dates to shadow a CRNA. Requirement number nine, and this is a requirement that I recommend every critical care nurse get, whether or not you want to go to anesthesia school, and that is your critical care registered nurse certification. As of right now, about 70% of schools require it. So if you're deciding on whether or not taking the GRE or CCRN, always take your CCRN over your GRE. That is what majority of schools are looking for. And for those nurses that aren't looking to go to CRNA school, you will get a paid bonus just by taking this exam. So study up. Requirement number 10 is pretty self-explanatory and that is letters of recommendation. So while you are working in your ICU, make sure you stand out and have a good relationship with your managers and attendings because you're going to need them and their help in the future. Requirement number 11 is the last requirement, and that is the essay response. So most schools are either going to have one or multiple prompts where you're required to write an essay. It's going to have a word limit. So you want to make sure that you are short, sweet, to the point, but also captivating and capturing. Make sure you have your Grammarly installed and have multiple people read it because it is going to be heavily criticized. And if you make a mistake, it's not going to look good. So there you have it. Those are your top 11 requirements 
for applying to CRNA school. This video is really intended for people maybe in nursing school or already are a nurse and are looking to have a career in anesthesia. Make sure you save this video and keep looking back on it as you go through your journey. And if you do end up applying and hearing from school that you have gotten an interview, be sure to download my ebook on Etsy. I will leave the link in the description below and it provides multiple personality and clinical questions to help you prepare for your interviews. I have a bunch of new ideas coming up and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. See you later.